The sudden appearance of the latest DJI Avatar 360 leak has sent a shockwave through the drone community. Not only because the visuals finally confirm what enthusiasts have whispered about for weeks, but because the design challenges everything we thought we knew about FPV drones, 360-degree capture systems, and the engineering limits of a sub-250-gram aircraft, and the more we study these leaks, the more it becomes clear that DJI is attempting something that could redefine two entire categories at once. Creating a machine that doesn't just record the world around it, but adapts to the way you want to fly through that world. And the centerpiece of all this ambition is the rotating camera module, a concept that, until now, sounded almost too experimental to be real. Yet the leaked hardware shows without question that DJI isn't just trying to stitch two fisheye lenses together in software like Insta360 or GoPro. Instead, they designed an actual physical rotation mechanism, a motorized housing that flips seamlessly between a full spherical 360 degree capture mode and a dedicated forward-facing FPV mode. And that decision alone introduces a thousand implications for aerodynamics, structural integrity, and weight distribution. Because embedding a rotating module inside a ducted FPV aircraft requires rethinking the entire front body, which is why the new Avatar 360 leak reveals a thicker, curved, almost armor-like front shell that gives the rotating camera both protection and stability without compromising airflow. This immediately suggests that DJI wasn't content to simply slap new sensors onto the existing Avatar 2 frame. They rebuilt the platform from the ground up, compressing and reshaping the chassis so that the camera sits like a mechanical heart at the drone's core, free to rotate yet shielded from the intense vibrations generated by FPV maneuvers. But the engineering challenge doesn't stop there, because combining a 360 camera's processing needs with the ultra-low latency requirements of FPV is a balancing act that borders on impossible FPV pilots demand instant transmission, razor-precise stick response, and a latency so low that even a handful of milliseconds can mean the difference between a clean gap dive and a catastrophic crash, whereas 360-degree capture demands heavy stabilization advanced stitching, multi-directional sensor input, and significant post-processing, none of which traditionally coexist with the lightweight, explosive performance of FPV drones. And yet DJI seems determined to merge these two worlds, possibly by offloading 360-degree stitching to onboard AI processors while using a dedicated feed for the FPV camera to preserve latency, which would be a massive leap forward in drone imaging systems something that could allow creators to fly through environments in FPV mode and then extract fully reframed 360 shots in post, giving them essentially two separate cinematic tools in one aircraft. But what truly pushes this leak into unbelievable territory is not the dual-mode camera, nor the revised frame, nor the rumored FPV performance. The idea that this drone could somehow land under the magical threshold of 250 grams a number that unlocks regulatory advantages in almost every major drone market in the world. Because under 250 grams means easier travel, less paperwork, more freedom for aerial creators, and far fewer restrictions on where and when you can fly, and when you combine that with FPV, the possibilities explode in a way that DJI is no doubt aware of. Since the Avatar line has always targeted a mix of travel vloggers, beginners entering FPV for the first time, and experienced pilots wanting DJI's rock-solid video transmission rather than analog signals. However, every Avita so far has been bulky, powerful, and built for durability rather than weight, with thick ducts, heavy frames, and large batteries designed for indoor safety and outdoor punching power. So the rumor of a 250-gram Avita seems almost ridiculous especially when you consider the additional hardware DJI appears to have added front and side visual cameras, omnidirectional sensing systems, dual LiDAR sensors, all of which suggest a push into improved obstacle detection and indoor autonomy. Normally, adding these systems would raise the weight dramatically. And yet the leaked photos show a drone that looks almost compressed, flattened, shaved down to the bare essentials. 
with a slimmer top shell, fewer reinforcement ribs, reduced plastic in the ducts, more streamlined arms, and a visibly smaller battery pack that almost certainly carries fewer cells, lower milliamp hours, and a lighter casing. This means that DJI likely redesigned the internal layout to minimize empty space, tucking electronics tighter together, perhaps revising the ESC board, slimming the gimbal housing, and even reducing motor mass with more efficient stators that deliver similar thrust at a lower weight. If DJI truly wants this drone to sit under 250 grams, the battery will be the biggest sacrifice and the flight time will almost certainly fall below the Avada 2's numbers. But that might be acceptable if the dual-mode camera delivers something unprecedented for creators. Imagine flying through a forest trail in FPV mode, then switching to 360 capture mid-flight to record everything around you, then transitioning back to FPV for tight gaps without needing two drones or a separate camera rig. Content creators who rely on reels, shorts, TikTok, and travel vlogs could create dynamic sequences that are impossible with conventional drones. And FPV pilots could use the 360 mode to recover footage, even from near misses or imperfect. Flight lines because the spherical capture would allow them to reframe shots after the fact, turning mistakes into cinematic assets. But beyond creators, the engineering story here is equally fascinating. Because the new shell redesign signals a shift in DJI's philosophy, a move away from the older. More toy-like ducted frames into a sleeker. More aerodynamic profile that balances speed, stability, and imaging. The thinner ducts likely reduce drag. While the narrower motor mounts and lighter chassis suggest higher efficiency, which might allow DJI to maintain similar flight performance even with a smaller battery. And the rotating camera mechanism, if executed well, could become one of DJI's most iconic innovations. Because physical rotation avoids many of the stitching artifacts and blind spot issues that plague dual lens 360 cameras, and it allows DJI to use a single larger sensor for FPV mode, eliminating the fisheye distortion problem that normally plagues small FPV-focused drones. The biggest question, however, Remains execution can DJ, I really deliver a drone that performs as both a proper FPV machine and a high-quality 360-degree camera system. In theory, yes, but in practice the complexity is enormous. 360 capture requires extreme processing throughput, advanced heat management, and highly accurate sensor fusion. And FPV requires low latency, stable transmission, and high-speed response. And merging these systems without compromise will require some of DJI's most advanced engineering to date. There's also the question of durability. Because a rotating camera module embedded in a ducted FPV drone must survive crashes. And Avida series drones are frequently crashed by beginners learning FPV maneuvers. The rotation mechanism must be shock resistant, dust resistant, and protected from impacts. And DJI's curved front structure might serve that purpose acting as both a protective shell and a stabilizing mount. And then there's the thermal challenge. Because 360-degree processing generates heat, FPV transmission generates heat, and smaller drones have less internal room for airflow. So DJI has likely redesigned the internal vents, heat pipes, and bottom-mounted cooling intakes to keep temperatures under control. This may explain some of the new design language seen in the leak flatter body lines. Thinner walls and strategic openings could all be part of a cooling strategy hiding in plain sight. Meanwhile, the inclusion of LiDAR sensors is especially interesting. If true, this suggests DJ I wants this drone to excel indoors, offering advanced stabilization, mapping, and obstacle detection in environments where GPS is unreliable and a dual-mode camera combined with indoor navigation systems could transform how creators shoot inside warehouses, factories, abandoned buildings, art studios, and performance spaces. The Avatar 360, in that case, could become a hybrid tool not just for cinematic FPV enthusiasts, but for professional interior videographers who need the freedom of FPV movement without sacrificing spatial awareness or safety. And, of course, 
There's the competitive angle DJI seems to be responding aggressively to the rapid rise of third-party FPV systems. Modular Sinwoops and the continued evolution of Insta360 drones and GoPro-compatible rigs. By integrating a native 360-degree system, DJI is essentially telling creators that they won't need external cameras anymore. Eliminating the weight, complexity, and aerodynamic penalty of mounting action cams on top of whoops and sinwoops. For FPV pilots who obsess over weight, center of gravity, duct turbulence, prop wash, and vibration isolation, this is huge and all-in-one system designed from the frame up means better tune. Better stability and fewer compromises in design. Creators could also avoid the common problem of balancing drone weight around bulky camera mounts or dealing with top-heavy flight characteristics caused by external cameras. If DJI nails this, the Avita 360 could become the most convenient on-the-go FPV storytelling tool ever made. But even with all this promise, skepticism remains, especially regarding the rumored December release window.